Is there a light that's out? It says record. I think it's going to take her a minute, Rob. <laughs> oh, God! Right. <laughs> I think she missed ya! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, don't worry. I'm here. <laughs> now I'll be home for Christmas, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you son of a bee, why did you do that? <laughs> it was so hard to keep it from the two. Hi, Carol. That's why I put Tucker with me. <laughs> I was like, I need him on a leash. <laughs> I'm also for Christmas. Why do you know better than that? Oh my Always. god. Hi, <laughs> Timmy. Oh. 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 When did you get in? The 19th. Oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you can shut it off. Let me know when. Say something. Say uh, something five. Okay. Hey, I'm a seconds. The award weighs a lot, so I'm sorry. The award weighs a lot. I think
show the rock. Okay, thank you for the gift. I told you he weighs a lot. Hi. Did you say yes? Of course she loves him, she says. Now tell me, have you ever seen a pageant like that before? All right. Thank you. We're back on this Thursday. It's 5.30, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! This year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla seen her in person. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, you too. Her mom, Lisa Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small drags, small tanks, but I mostly cross train into working on Humvees and five tons and wreckers. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just going to stay at home. Stay at home and spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam. His dad, or Mackenzie and Colin, from their dad, and he's going to tell us what he does and how what he does as a soldier. <laughs> Hi Mackenzie. Hi Colin. It's Daddy. I love you. I miss you guys very much and I can't wait to see you again. I'm really sorry that I'm not there with you guys right now. I love you and happy Valentine's Day. I'm sorry again that I can't be there for Valentine's Day. Did you guys like that? Alright. Well, you know what? I think we have a special visitor that wanted to come in and talk to you guys about this. You guys ready to see the special visitor? Yeah? All right, let's go see if they're, if they're ready to visit with us. Let's go see. Is there a special visitor for us yet? Yeah. Let's see. There's a special visitor, I heard. 
Can you see if our special visitor is here? Oh, he's going to come talk to you guys about it. Let's see. Let's see who it is. Hi, Kenzie. Hi, I have a hug now. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, y